evening and welcome to the next part of the shed build in this video we're going to be framing the walls So I've got this uh, 2 by 3 I bought some more, got about, I think it's 20 odd there. Should be able to start framing the walls now. I think the only issue, I'm, one thing I'm worried about is how these corners are going to meet. So I think the best thing to do is uh, do this two straight sides, them short sides, and then see how it falls. So I've started to lay down my framing just to see where it all falls. I think if I can get a good place to start here I should, it should all pretty much uh, fall into place that's the plan anyway so I think I've got pretty much got this this all sorted so I'll start uh, marking stuff out on the floor get, get my corners in place and then I can start framing I'll probably fasten those down you with a couple of screws, just all in place till I get this uh, in the right spot. So I've screwed them that one in and that one in, and that gets me about where I want to be. So I can mark off the length. I'm gonna gonna cut this out for the door as well. So I'll get that done. So I've done most of the frame. I've just I've uh, done this bottom bit. I'm gonna leave a gap for the door. And um, that's where it's going to fall, so I just need to cut uh, the bottom bit, I've done all my uprights. Now, I thought being convenient, this stuff's 3.6 metres long, cut it in half, which is 180 centimetres, which will be, be about right, so it's worked out quite well. So, a bit less wastage with these uh, sections of 3 by 2 So, and that's going to be the top, the top bit. So once I've got this uh, this last bottom bit done, I need to find out where my uprights are going to fall. So I'll have one, two, three, four, and then two here. So all my uprights are ready to be screwed together. So I've got all the pieces of my frame for this wall done. So I'll put you guys on time lapse.
So that's our first frame in. It's all fixed into place. Um, we finalised how, how we're going to have the where the how, how the walls are going to meet. So we finalised the uh, the size of that. I'm going to do the same in this corner. We've got this we've got this block in, and it's going to give us our size of the uh, bottom and top of the frames. So I'm going to carry on. I'll, I'll do the rest of it off camera. You saw me how we put frames together. I was struggling a bit until uh, until Ben come and give me a hand. But it's it gone now, so. I should be able to do this frame on my own. So I've got the old frame up and I managed to get four sides clad. Ended up using featherboard because it was cheapest. Shit, but going to cost an absolute fortune. I've spent enough as it is, so there's the, uh, the walls that are clad. I uh, just got to uh, reinforce this frame and finish this frame off. So there's, there's going to be a window here, it'll be about I'm not sure if that's, that's the right one, but it's going to be it's going to be about up here somewhere. We'll have a probably a single piece piece of glass, and so just sort of show you progress so far. So we'll finish the finish the frames off, finish the cladding, and then that'll be it for this video. And I'll uh, cut to the to when we've finished the frames and the cladding. I thought I'd show the. Uh, how the windows frame so just get, get a piece of plexiglass for that because uh, you can buy it 12 by 1200 by 600 mil which is what that space is we just get some some beading on the inside put the glass in and stick a beading on the outside and that's his window done simple as that so we'll come back to you when we've got all this reinforced and cladded so I'm gonna fit the window. I've got some some acrylic sheet, and it's, this is, this is actually just a bit bigger. So I just need to trim it to size. I've got some mouldings here, which I'm gonna cut to length, and then I can uh, make 45 degree cuts on the mitre saw. And I'll fasten them in. These nails, they, they should do the job. So I'll get the mitre saw out and start. And the jigsaw and start cutting stuff down. Now this beading is 2.4 meters long so I can get a couple of these length sections out of one. So just cut it in half and just check the check the size and then cut some 45 degree angles on my saw. So I've got this cut in half and it fits perfectly so I just need to cut off the uh, corners with the, the mitre saw and then we can get these fitted. So I'm ready to uh, get this one fastened down, I don't know where you're going to see this. So, just have to see how it goes. Let's get it started and then, once this is in place. Get it nailed down properly. to get it started and then I can uh, finish it off. I'm dropping all these nails. That's the first one in place. Uh, on each end, uh, it should be good. If I'm in way, you probably can't see it, just get this M1 done. Right, so that's one one of them done. I'll just show you. So that's gonna 
hold our, our window, our glass, our plexiglass in. So one either side, all the way around. And then we're ready to do the window. So, after a bit of trimming and fettling, I managed to get it to fit in. I ended up breaking corner of glass, but I think I should be all right. You can see uh, this, this uh, beading's in place. So, I'll get that fastened in. Do that off camera. So that's the window all done, it's all in, it's all fastened inside and out. Worked out quite well. I found that little piece that had broken off and it's hardly noticeable but it'll be absolutely fine. So I think what I'll do is uh, once, once the cladding's been done that'll be the end of it for this particular video and in the next one it'll be the roof. So I've got most of the cladding done, I've got all this wall done, all cladding. Uh, I managed to start on this one until I basically run out of cladding. I mean there's that left but that's not much use. So what I'll do is I'll get some more cladding and I'll finish that off. And that's the end of this particular video, hope you enjoyed it. So please remember to like, subscribe, share, click that notification bell, comment some questions, you know how to put them as a thanks for watching. And I'll see you there.